The MCC has new customization for CE and Halo 3 along with a new season for us to grind through. And in this video, we're going to give you a nice in-depth view of everything to check out. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again give you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button as it greatly helps out this video and channel get more people get a chance to see this and stay in the know with everything going on in Halo. So thank you to the amazing support on the channel recently guys. It's been amazing seeing the channel grow almost exponentially right now which is insane so I really appreciate it and since you guys have supported the channel so much we actually got a little bit of an early access to Halo 3's MCC launch. So in this video I'm going to show you all the customization that's coming from for the MCC for CE and Halo 3, along with all the customization options that you'll be unlocking in Season 2. All right, everyone, so when you first log into the MCC, you'll begin a new splash screen, as you can see right here, very Halo 3 kind of theme, showing off a lot of the weapons and new art style to this screen takeover, as they do with every new release of a game on MCC, which is pretty awesome. This is just... The God Rays coming through look amazing. So in this video, we're going to be showcasing the customization and the season pass, as there's a lot to be added in here, as we have a brand new season. So the way to find it, go to Career and Options, or Options and Career, really more like it. We'll check out the season right here, and then we'll check out the customization. So you have uh, two seasons now that you can put your season points into. The Noble season, which was the season that originally released with Halo Reach. That's going to be staying. They'll be there forever. But now you can switch to season two, which is now the spark season and basically is showcasing a lot of new customization over a hundred items to unlock in here uh, again, but you still have a hundred tiers, 10 pages to get through and uh, the, you have new customization now where you can actually kind of select which item in this set of 10 you can choose from but once you select all 10 items then you can move on to the next page and so on and so on and so i kind of wanted to showcase some of the customization now this will be very ce focused with the player customization vehicles and weapon customization it's like skins and stuff like that but there are some like name plays you can kind of go through but you kind of want to do a quick brief run through of all the new stuff that we're going to be seeing here it's like new visor colors you know like some skin colors i've seen this great journey skin it looks pretty freaking awesome i uh, got cool like you got pretty much every major weapon you could think of in uh combat evolved has got a, a new skin, skin for it so that's pretty sweet uh, again just kind of scrolling through you can kind of see the different kind of options like some of them you get doubled up on different customization i really like this one was the hot chili uh flamethrower skin along with like a skin for the tank as well uh this one right here guys we literally have a jurassic park skin for your warthog in the game we'll show it later on in this video you can see it in person but like it's unlocked at rank 11 so it's not too far away but again so you can kind of see the tiers that you have to go through some of the nameplates and there's the warthog that you saw with the teeth look on it looking pretty awesome that's unlocked at 40 and uh, you can just kind of scroll through you can kind of see all the awesome customization options that you have within this again like i'm not gonna go through every single one individually because this video would take too long the highlights i'll point out like again the hot rod skin that you probably saw for some of the promotional images for this is unlocked at 61 and the very last thing you unlock at tier 100 is a weapon skin a visor skin and also a new nameplate as well for you guys so a good variety of weapon skins visor skins uh, weapon skins, things like that. So a lot of variety to kind of add in so we can kind of flex on how much Halo you actually play. So let's get into the customization here as I'm probably you want to sure see what this all looks like. I'm sure me, I knew I do as well. So this is the player customization screen. You can kind of see what the new visors look like right here on the character. There's a ton of different visors on here, which do look pretty awesome. There's one in particular I really liked. I mean, I was kind of scrolling through a little bit earlier, but you can kind of see all the different colorizations. Uh, the pearlescent visors look pretty freaking awesome. There's a purple one, blue one, green one. I like the green one because you got a little hint of green and purple all kind of in that same one. Looks pretty freaking awesome. Those are all the different visor colors. And so then we can go over to player colors. These are all stayed the same from original, so you're not going to see anything different with player colors or anything like that. No gradients or anything changed with that, nothing drastic. Uh, here is a cool thing with all the different weapons now. All the new weapons, their base 
uh, texture has been updated. So they have actually high res textures now for your base models. So in case you you know just want to see just what the classic version look like, you can actually see what it looks like in a higher resolution. It's pretty sweet. We have a pistol right here. You can tell it's a much more high res version of it. I'm not sure if it comes through on the video, but on the, when you're playing it in person, you definitely see it. And here's like a gold camo, woodland camo. The desert one looks pretty sweet. Kind of reminds me of like a desert eagle kind of look. The Great Journey looks freaking awesome on here. And uh, so basically there's kind of like, mm, like five or seven different kinds of uh, weapon cameras you can choose from. Obviously some have more, some have uh, less, uh, but there are some uh, ones that carry over like this Great Journey weapon skin looks so cool. Uh, this one just looks fun. <laughs> like, why not? Kind of get a little trolley with the coloring and stuff like that. This is the last one you unlock at tier 100 right here. So you can flex your awesomeness right here. Uh, the plaza pistol, these are all look freaking awesome. Like, look at it. We'll try to angle this a little bit down for you guys. Uh, like, the ultra looks cool. The brutal one, schism, zealots, all of this looks pretty freaking awesome. Plaza rifle, look at that. Oh, the default plaza rifle, of course, looks awesome. You got the ultra, the brutal, the schism, the zealot. Oh my god, guys. So yeah, this all this looks so cool. So this is where you kind of start seeing a lot of repeats, like the Desert, Golden, uh, Great Journey. Some of them have little variations, like the Avalanche one looks pretty freaking sweet as well. Again, Golden, Woodland, Desert, Great Journey, Hunter's Blood. That was pretty nice. So it seems like a lot of these camos have at least like one maybe unique item to them. So that's all pretty freaking awesome. I know, I know I'm probably saying that way too much, but like this is, just looks really really cool and i'm really glad that 343 took the detail to go in this like this looks clean the white hot flamethrower that's clean that i'm I, if, once i get it i'm gonna be rocking the hot pepper one because look at this that logo looks like it's something you see like on a mexican restaurant like i want to eat there char broiled right there for you <laughs> And uh, again, lastly, the fuel rod again just looks so awesome with these different skins. Like some of them are pretty wacky and fun, and some of them are pretty interesting. Now the warhog, oh god, guys, there's a. I'll show you the warhog scene we were talking about earlier. So there's the hot rod you probably saw in some thumbnails that I made or just promotional images for this. This one though, the park ranger skin looks so cool. It's literally Jurassic Park warhog in Halo, like. That's awesome, guys. <laughs> okay. Like, when I first saw this, I took a picture and sent it to my friends. Like, guys, there's a Jurassic Park Warhog now in Halo. <laughs> I just thought that was so cool. So cool. And you got different colors also here for the uh, the Rocket Hog here. A nice hot pink. The shark returning. And also the Clever Girl one right here. Another Jurassic Park reference. Just... Oh my god, that's just so awesome that they went to that little detail. Uh, you got Brutal, Schism, Zealot, Ultra. Those all look super clean, super nice. Same thing here with the Banshee as well. Same kind of coloring. I really like the green, but also the white, it just looks, that looks crisp. You know what I mean? And lastly, we also have the tank right here, the Bengal the Grim Reaper, the Arctic, and the Package as well. Now there is new customization for Halo 3 as well, as you probably do know that right now on Halo 3 on the MCC for console, that you basically have your set armor piece and that's all you get. Well, now you, they brought back the classic customization that we all know and love from Halo 3. And I uh, just kind of want a quick run through, because like, there isn't anything crazy new. It's all like the same armor pieces that you know and love. It's just so cool to see these armor pieces at such high resolution rendered in the Unreal 4. It's so cool. And so you got the, you know, your typical head pieces, your, your, your shoulder pieces, all the ones that you know and love are all back in the MCC. So get to have a chance to customize your character exactly how you like. And if you want it, you can actually put on the old school flaming bungee helmet right here, guys. And with the uh, legacy chest piece, you get to put that on. Now keep in mind that if you're using camo, people will still see your flaming helmet. So keep that in mind when you're playing uh, play online, guys. Again, all your classic chess pieces, like your Hayabusa and your Katana Hayabusa as well. Pretty freaking sweet. And of course we have our elite customization as well. And unlike the flight, when you change the headpiece, it actually changes the headpiece and doesn't clip through, <laughs> which is uh, good to see that fix up. And uh, you know, I'm not, I usually don't play as elites because, uh, well, I mean, 
I have my issues with elites in multiplayer, but that's just me. <laughs> you can do your thing though. You can do your thing, but you can see all the different kind of customization. And uh, they also brought in some new coloring as well. And if we go back to um, our Spartan armor piece here, you can kind of see what we're talking about. So they brought it back tertiary color. So you have your primary color, as you can see right here, all of it, what you typically have already for the MCC. Uh, and then you also have your secondary colors, basically like what your shoulder pieces and like accents on your helmet will be. And then you have your tertiary colors, which are going to be like these bands right here along your leg and arm. You can color it that however you like now, which you couldn't previously in the MCC. So that's brand new with this update coming to the MCC. Pretty freaking sweet. Currently with this early access build, challenges are not available at the moment, but I guarantee you when this game releases, I uh, have a chance to look at them. We'll definitely give you guys some tips and tricks on how to get through your challenges as quickly as possible. So that is all the new customization that we have and season pass for the MCC. Again, we have both seasons. You can put your season points in. You have your challenges where you can unlock more content for you guys right there as well. So if you want to stay up to date with all your Halo content, make sure you tap subscribe on the channel, guys, to keep yourselves up to date. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content content like this let me know in the comment section down below what you're most excited about this new season for the mcc and if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me check out the videos on the screen right over here I got a link to all my news playlist videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so so thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you all in the next video peace out